Actually, I've seen a lot worse than this. I mean, we're not exactly in Alcatraz, are we? But it's always so cold in here. You know, I'd love to take my coat off, but I'm afraid I'd freeze to death. Not that I'm going to be in here long enough to freeze to death, heaven forbid. You see, I'm supposed to be spending Christmas with my family. And the way I figured, even if I were to get out tomorrow, I'd still have to go home and, and pack and change my reservations. Be cutting it off the clothes. You know, maybe I should call my boss over at the... Hey! What? I'm, I'm sorry. What? what? Look, Bunny, you seem like a nice no, kid. No, my name is, is Sally. What's your name? Shirley. The thing is, Sunny, I got a few problems of my own, you know what I mean? And I don't think I want to sit here and listen to you talk about yours. Okay? Okay. I I'm sorry. I, uh... I really am. I was jabbering, wasn't I? I do that. I do that a lot when I get nervous, and today I'm I'm very nervous, so it if I'm being a little insensitive, please forgive me. I, I'm sure that you do have problems of your own. W would you like to talk about them? No. Oh. Oh, I, I didn't think so. Yeah, you know, I guess we all need time, time to think things over privately. I do that a lot myself, late at night. You know, sometimes after work, I come home and I sit and think about, sort of meditate about things that happened during the day, mistakes I made, things like that. So hopefully I won't make them again. It's very helpful. It makes me feel good. And I guess in, in some strange way, that's what rehabilitation's all about. It's kind of a time when you can sit alone and think, hey! I... Yeah, okay, you want me to shut up. You want me to shut up. I will. <laughs> I'll shut up. <clears throat> I just don't understand what is taking so long. Oh, they're probably going through the governor for a pardon. All right, look, I know you probably think I'm making a big deal out of this thing, but I, I just can't get used to the idea of spending Christmas in jail. And the whole thing is so unfair. I mean, all I was doing was my job. Well, join the club, honey. What do you think I was doing? Cleary. Oh, I am so glad to see you. Well, I don't think that you're as glad as you think you are, I'm sorry to say. What do you mean? Garvey didn't score too well with your friend, the judge. I think the bench decided that the press has been getting away with too much lately, and they're going to make you the scapegoat. So I'm here for the night. Uh, Longer than that? Unless you tell them who your informant is. Oh. Do you think I should? Well, you know, I, I've been giving that a lot of... Uh, yeah, I, I, I think that you ought, to, you ought to tell him. I mean, besides, you, you don't want to stay here. It's not worth it. McClary, can you look me in the eye and say that? No. You don't want me to give up any more than I do. And I'm not going to. Congratulations. I knew you were tough enough to hold on. <laughs> so, uh, where have you been all day? I thought you'd come... A long time before you did. Oh, you know, just around, usual work hassles and stuff. <laughs> I, I've been trying to uh, contact some old legal buddies, see if they could add a new angle to this thing, but no dice. I appreciate your trying. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, I better go. They told me to make it short. Okay. Will you come back tomorrow? <laughs> Wouldn't miss it. You know what I like about you, Sunshine, is you always take me to the best places. <laughs> Listen, I want you to know that I really admire what you're doing. You hang in there. He's cute. Sunshine. 
Yep, that's me, good old sunshine. Well, I hate to say it, but it doesn't look like you're going to be getting too much of that in your Christmas, if you get my drift. Not too much sunshine at all. <laughs> 